Very, very warm welcome to you, baby dolls. Today's going to be educational for you because I've seen something and I'm here so many hours of the day. I've been in markets for 12 years and I can see what's coming next for crypto. It's not going to be a specific narrative explanation that you're going to get, but I'm going to tell you my brain, my knees, my earlobes, my soul, all my wisdom and experience, they're all coming together and I know how you're going to get wrecked in the next phase of crypto because something within me has just clicked. I've seen this so many times. Whenever we establish a new formula, a new strategy, a new competitive edge, how to make money, and enough people know about it, the Grim Reaper comes. Now, we're going to go through this, friends. Don't stress about anything I'm going to tell you, but I'm going to tell you right now, the answer is exactly what I've been sharing with you, That the the solution to all of this. So I'm going to tell you right now. I want you to watch this whole video, but... I just don't want anybody to get any anxiety. Just know that the number one thing to do is obviously buy in the depression and sell in the euphoria. We buy our core coins and we hold at all costs. I'm going to give you more information as to why it's more important now compared to previous cycles. Okay. So let's go through this together, baby dolls. Look at this. So I made this post here, so I couldn't even fit all of this. I've mentioned here, I've seen enough information now, friends, about how the next cycle, it's going to play out for DGEN traders, okay? I've been grabbing information from so many people, so many places, and I'm like, okay, I can see it now. I can see it happening, and when I speak, you better listen because I don't want you to get hurt, okay? We plan for this now. Just like you go on a war, you don't plan when Hiroshima bomb's about to go off. You got to plan years in advance. All right. So as I mentioned, I've been here for 12 12 years in markets. Now, I've seen this so many times, friends. I can't tell you how many times we've come across a new correlation strategy, some sort of spread, some certain time period of the day, different edges pop up in the market. And just as fast as they come, they go. But with crypto, it's more serious because we're in new bleeding edge technology when an edge comes comes into like existence, the rate that it gets eaten up, so the low-hanging fruit, as I've always been mentioned to you, right? The, the sweet little cherries, right? Here you are nibbling away. Those sweet cherries, the low-hanging fruit, it's getting up, eaten faster and faster. I'm telling you now. Back in the day, in traditional markets, that would get up super quick because of algorithms and everything else. But now I'm even noticing in crypto, unfortunately, they're not as slow as they used to be. And this is going to be the difference between people who make a lot and people who barely make anything, okay? So it is going to get more difficult, all right? But you know, when I say this, people don't know like, what does that mean more difficult? If Bitcoin's going up, what do you mean? Like, how's it getting more difficult? I'm gonna tell you, Habibi Albi, just chill out. We're gonna go through it. But first, appreciate this Peppy with a cute wig. (laughs) He's got a little world news thing. I found this meme. Like, such perfect journalism here for you, all right? So, Here's my record. Now, when I made my record, I had no idea. I didn't even know about, I didn't, never want to go on YouTube, didn't know about Twitter. I hated Twitter, but I just, I made this for myself. I go, you know what? If I want to help people here and there, I think it'd be nice for me to just look back and go, hey, what were my biggest wins from the previous bull market? And what were all my, pro- these are all my prophecy calls. So these are the ones where I actually told people in Telegram or in Twitter, I actually said, hey, this is an exit zone. Okay. So what, what I do from here has no bearing on you. I'm just telling you now, this is the cause, the get out. We've held this whole way, okay? And we're going to go through some examples. I'm going to show you why, friends. It's very important you take this on board, okay? So you got to, let's look through closely at these. Alpha here, that's a 90X, okay? 90X US dollars, okay? Now, obviously, I care about the Bitcoin column. These are the actual real important ones. But I understand a lot of people, you know, it's hard for you to, to grasp a lot of it, okay? So we'll just look at the US dollar one. Wait, look, look at this Solana, for example. Solana, okay, down here, 108X. Okay, I'm going to show you what I had to hold through and why it's going to be more important you hold strong core coins. And for clarification, you know, right, some people, 
They have Bitcoin and Ethereum core. I've already gone through the ones I like. Some people like layer ones. There are people who think Cardano is going to make a resurgence. Some people think XRP. I've already let you know my thoughts, right? I'm happy to ride with the deep value hex ecosystem and pulse chain as a big part of my core and also Chainlink. Okay, we're going to go through that later. I'm going to show you why it's super important you take this on board. Now, a lot of these coins, like you're going to think, oh, wow, 10x, 12x, go. It wasn't easy, man. It wasn't easy. I'm going to show you right later on in Solana what you actually had to hold through. But let's go through the premise of everything because th this is important, friends. So a lot of people, so Stock to Flow was a model made by this guy, Plan B, who's blocked like 40,000 of us on Twitter because I tagged Ethereum and him in the same post, okay? So Plan B, but you got to remember, he's like, a, he's like a quant nerd guy. They're not really, they're not built to deal with large masses of people. They're not, okay? So you got to be mindful of that. So you got to be understanding. Now, remember, we're not here to judge or anything, great. Everyone goes through, everyone handles stress differently, okay? So Plan B made this model back in March of, I think March here of 2018. Here we go, around, yes, around here with these little green squares. That's where he made this model. Now, when he made this model, it was like revolutionary. I remember reading about it. I was like, yes, this is what we've been thinking. Bitcoin is going to go to like 200,000, 500,000. And now there's a model that says it. So it was the perfect thing to put a trap in, right? Now, when you see a model like this, you don't even need to understand it. Just know that you're starting to get late, okay? So now I hope your mind's blowing a bit. Who the hell is telling you this? N none of the other YouTube influencers, you know, Bless their little cotton socks. They don't even know about this. I'm, I'm teaching you right now. The fact that this model exists, you put an X. An X. It doesn't even matter if the model's right. It goes, damn. This means Bitcoin is established itself so much, the crown has put itself around a model. A model of returns, friends. Now, you want, you want to joke about it? Imagine you, imagine you made a model. Let's go back to my coins here. Imagine... We made a model for, where's my little Pika? I think it was a little Pikachu coin here. Um, but yeah, any of these, any of these scams, like, oh, here it is, here it is, uh, Pika, right here. I bought this coin literally because it was called Pika for Pikachu. It did a 42X. Okay, that's it. It's Pokemon season, baby. 42X. Okay, imagine someone <laughs> made a, a model to show demand and supply for this meme coin. Now, you're laughing right now. But <laughs> you would probably be better off buying things without a model on average than buying things with a model, okay? Because now we have Bitcoin here that has a model. It's so established for that long that people are now having the confidence to attach quantitative things to it. That's where things start to get a bit nasty for your future returns because now that means you introduced the quantitative nerds, the skeptics, the people who manage risk, once you start to introduce those people, you're late, all right? You're late. You're not bleeding edge anymore. You are late, okay? So stock to flow model, I still think it might work a bit, but I want to draw your attention to something. The gray line in the background is where it's fair value for this is. By the way, this, see, friends, this stock to flow model was the original one posted. You see this gray line? This is where Bitcoin's fair value should be. However, it includes Satoshi's coins and the lost coins. You know, I think Bitcoin's estimated about 5 million coins are lost and one of them, one of the millions, 1 million is Satoshi. So plan B, what he did was halfway through the cycle, he modified the model. So this model's fair price up here is 50K. This is about $50,000. $50, However, the one that became popular was S2F and then they put X, the, right? S2F or this is the updated one. So if the S2F cross asset one, it started matching it to gold and which put like $288,000 as fair value, right? But even one below that, there was one um, stock to flow where he removed Satoshi's coin. So effectively what he says is, oh, the market cap of Bitcoin is much less than we think because the coins are lost. And look what happened, right? It, it undershot expectations. So 100K should have been there. And look, we went, we went actually to the first model, you know? Believe it or not, I actually thought this might happen. I thought, man, what? Because in the midst of the euphoria, I thought, man, what if actually the first model of 50K is the real one for, for plan B? Now, I never thought we would shoot and just touch the, the fair value itself. I thought we we're going to go euphoric. 
So this is another warning sign to let you know it's super important to understand that. Look at this, friends. The euphoria, which is the dots that go above fair value, they got smaller and smaller. And look at this. Now they touch. Okay. So you had a, you had a big explosion here, big explosion here. Look, small. You just touch the fair value. Look what's probably going to happen here. We might not even get anywhere near the fair value in the next one. So it's showing you that, hey, on average, things are getting less euphoric. I even have here, right? Um, Bitcoin, to get back to even restore this, we need to get back to this fair value of $45,000. But these numbers, the multipliers are getting smaller and smaller, friends, right? I even mentioned, notice how the euphoria peaks are getting smaller over time. And yes, that will translate to a lot of the sectors in crypto on average. So you have to be better at this, okay? So look at this, friends. So there's a coin fashion story here, and you don't have to read it now, but basically this person at the start, right, he says, I wish I never got on Twitter. I've been a passive investor since 2016, managed to have about 4 million at the peak. So basically he leveraged, traded it, he rotated it out, etc. But when I read this and I thought, hey man, like it, everyone, a lot of people, Majority of people have taken a minus 90% swing in their portfolio. That's true, minus 90%. And they're still down. We're still down 90% from a lot of the, the portfolio up there. Now, um, so I realized to myself, well, that's the wrong message to send when you're talking about, ah, oh, get out, sell on a 2X, et cetera. I think the better message to send is what I put in translation here for you, friends. Okay, so look, obviously this person, they accumulate their whole portfolio, they lost at leverage trading, they wish they were passive investing, they listen to the influencers, etc. But you can't blame the influencers, right? Because you're going to listen to someone if you want to gamble, right? So this is actually the juice of my post here. I said, you must be able to hold through minus 90% of the coins you own, okay? Now, I... I, I'm not, I didn't write, you must be willing. I originally, initially had that. You must be willing. I go, no, 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 that's actually not good enough because everyone says they're willing. No, no, you actually have to hold through minus 90%. No ifs, no buts. If you are holding coins, if you go to any coin in your portfolio and you're like, man, if that goes minus 90%, I'm not going to be able to hold it. Well, you should not be owning that, okay? You're not going to be owning that. Let me tell you some wisdom from me, which is translated from Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett says, you should find the company that's so good, a business so great that an idiot, a monkey CEO can run it. He said, because chances are one day an idiot will run the company. So it better be a good company. Okay. So I'm now saying to you, this is how I translate it as a messenger here for you in crypto. I'm saying to you, you better hold coins where if it drops minus 90%, you are still willing to hold because at any point you can wake up and a lot of idiots are going to sell you down minus 90% somewhere. And guess what? You've been in crypto long enough already, friends. Idiots do sell assets minus 90% or lower. We saw it with the four poopy horsemen were selling hex down minus 97% under two cents in Q4 of 2022. We all saw it. We all witnessed it. 500 million hex worth, right? When it gets to a dollar, I will be cheering here every single day going, suck it. Suck on this salty little peanut. You missed out on $500 million. Instead, you took out 2% of that. Then they got a minus 98% reduction, okay? So it will happen to you, friends, okay? So, if you aren't willing to do that, you don't do that, you're not going to make it, okay? I don't, don't give me this, oh, you got to manage your risk, etc. by taking out stuff. Look, you manage your risk by getting in early and you manage your risk by not going excessively hard in lottery tickets. That's how you manage your risk. You don't manage your risk by going, okay, if this drops minus 30%, I'm going to get out. You know why, friends? Go to every single freaking coin that went to the moon. They all have a minus 80% collapse somewhere. Every single one, every single one. And I do mean every one. There are minus 60, minus 70, minus 80% drops everywhere. And sometimes if they're multi-cycle, minus 90% plus. You are not going to make it if you think you're going to sell on that red candle. Because guess what? You wait for that first red weekly candle, it's minus 40% off the top. Okay, I'm going to go through an example and show it for you right now. Because a lot of you seem to have 
backs that are slightly slanted, okay? Let's go through this Solana. I really want to show you, friends, this to show you what I had to hold. So let's just quick remember, in my Solana here, in my Solana, um, my Solana, where is it? Sol, 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 here we go. Number 23, Solana made 108X. I want you to walk through with me what I actually sat through, okay? You're going to see what it takes. Because a lot of you, you say you got big steel ovaries. You do, but you don't, okay? You got tiny little Sultana balls because this is what I had to sit through. So firstly, Solana launches, pops up, and it's down 70%, okay? Down 70%. How about that, right? Doing nothing, doing nothing, but I got it daily, all right? Now, I want you to know, I was watching Solana and people were talking about it and I, I just knew in my heart, everyone was talking about it. Everyone was like, this SPF guy, woo, 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 wait, he's going to kill it. And I'm like, you know what? He's smart and he's scum and I've got to get in, but I can't get in up here. I don't believe it, right? So then we had the first drop. We came all the way back down, okay? We came all the way down. I got in somewhere here, okay? I don't remember the day. I don't really care. You just, you get in, you forget about it. I got in somewhere here, okay? Uh, what I'm going to do is, because these are daily, daily candles, because I know a lot of you, you all watch this is the highest time frame you watch, okay? So this is what I actually had to go through. So you get in, okay? We're going to the right-hand side, right? You get in, you get in. You go, oh my God, look at this. Wow, right? So wow, you're up a 3X immediately. Congratulations in two months. You're up a, th this is against Bitcoin, by the way. This is sold BTC. You're up 300% to get Bitcoin. Now, look at this, because I'm not showing you the right-hand side. Look what ends up happening. No self-respecting person who's managing risk is not going to take anything out here. You've already lost 30% off the top, okay? So let's say you put in one Bitcoin, now you have three. Well, guess what? Down here, now you have two friends. Literally, now you have two Bitcoin. And you're thinking, oh, crap. My one Bitcoin was three at the very, very top tick up here. But now it's down 30%. So I'm going to get out, right? Manage your risk. Well, look what ends up happening, okay? Just look what ends up happening. Oh, look, it looks nice, looks nice. Oh, what's happening here? You keep waiting for, oh my God. Okay, keeps going, going. You think, okay, now it's stopped here. So I, I spoil it with this big fat green candle. Look, it goes up here and it stops again, all right? You missed down that first one. So you, there are so many periods you go through here and everything that where you manage risk, it's telling you take profit and exit. Everything, everything, everything. What about here? What about here, friends? Look at this. Okay, uh, let me tell you something right now. In trading, everyone knows this, all right? When there are big wicks like this, when you see wicks like this, you know they're going to come back down and get eaten. So that basically, the market's eventually going to come down and trade against it, right? But look what happens. Look what happens. It doesn't get touched, friends. Isn't this amazing? This one never gets touched, okay? And look at this. From the top, from the top here, it dropped minus 55%. Once again, no self-respecting person who manages risk is going to let this thing drop 55% and get nothing out, except yours truly, me. Because I believed in the system, not in Solana. I didn't believe in it at all. I mean, I believed in my system. I believed in crypto and the fundamentals, okay? This is irrelevant to me, minus 55%. How many of you will lose minus 55% in like four days and go, yeah, I'm not taking anything out, even when it comes back? How many of you are gonna do it? Because this is what you better be prepared to do, by the way. And look at this. Now, obviously, you can see this is the... This is SBF using the FTX funds to ram it up. Have a look at these green counts. Keep going and going and going and going and going. And I think I literally sold exactly here. <laughs> ah, yes, I did sell exactly here around the Solana conference. And I made the post. Like the, literally the exact top. Now, when you go back and look at it, this is the whole move done, right? we here. But at the end of the day, look how many pit stops there were. You had no freaking ID. If you are not willing to hold to the end, you have no ID. Now, someone's going to ask me, <clears throat> what if other coins don't have this nuclear run? And that's a very, very good question to ask. That's why I always, I've been saying, okay, we're not going to be able to get everything right. So if you notice, it peaked here September 2021. So what I would advise everyone to do as an emergency default, we walk 12 months after the Bitcoin halvening, and we also walk 18 months, which is around November here. You see this? So basically, this whole box. So the, the start of the box is the 12 months after the Bitcoin halvening, and this is 18 months. So 
at some point for all your coins, when it hits 12 to 15 months after the Bitcoin halvening, if, if the cycle seems to be repeating, we're just going to have to be scaling out of everything, even if they haven't gone the whole way. Because you don't know. Look, Solana went nuclear. Many other coins didn't. Okay. That's something very, very important to think about. Now, as well, friends. Okay. So I've gone through so many traders and I've seen what they've been looking at. And with Hex, for example, I've gone through over 20 traders' wallets that just pop up, right? I don't go looking for them. It's just when they appear on the whale alerts and they absolutely destroy themselves. I'm still trying to find someone who outperformed staking. I'm sure they're out there. I'm sure somebody sold and bought back in, etc. But like this wallet, for example, he's missing. He had 11.5 million hex at one point. Now he can only buy back 5.7 million. And that assumes he buys back in today. And he owns a lot of these other poop coins with much smaller size. His portfolio actually is all in USDT, 416,000 USDT. And I've actually got a scheduled post in 18 months from now because I want to see, hey, I've, I've written down, hey, let's all go back and check this guy's wallet. Does his portfolio have 11.5 million hex worth, whatever the hex price is in, in a year and a half, right? So that, that's going to be really cool to see. So I, I'm so confident these people just don't do it because I haven't found anyone to do it. On average, you get destroyed, friends. And, okay, I've made this cute cycle for you now. I'm going to show you. All right. So this is just a guess, okay? This is just a guess. It seems to be Bitcoin. We're in the recovery phase right now, all right? What I'm noticing all over crypto, so even certain YouTube influencers, one YouTube influencer, he's made this altcoin searching filter, all right? Now, I automatically, after like an hour playing around with it, I knew, okay, one, this is going to get copied. But two, people are hunting for ultra short-term needs in crypto. This is a sign that we're running out of retailers, friends. I'm very unfortunate. You see, you see, I just walk with you the Solana chart. Unfortunately, when people come into crypto now, they are coming in with dollar signs in their eyes, Okay. People, so all over Twitter, you'll go over that one guy who's like, oh, I turned $1,000 into $4 million, et cetera, right? Because many of them exist now, <clears throat> you this is an unfortunate reality, okay, we have to deal with. People are not coming into crypto for the tech. What this means is now tools are getting made, like here, Morales Money, Token Explorers, where people are literally just hunting ultra short-term parts of the curve, which is one day old, seven days old, etc. And I've seen people who are quote unquote making money with these friends. Look, if you click on some of these coins, okay, look at their chart. This one to show you, right? So this is what random coin flute. So I've done just a filter here. You search through stuff, flute. Yeah, mad chart, right? Flute. You know, this Kynet, I looked at this Kynet. So this was, sorry, the next coin, Kynet. Go, okay, let's look at Kynet. By the way, they've got big security scores, right? Meant to be safe. Now I looked at Kynet. I'm like, oh, this might look like it goes off. I'll go, hang on. I better check CoinGecko to see if the coin has been relaunched before. And guess what, friends? It has been relaunched. You see, this is another scam that they do. They, they, they move chains. They relaunch contracts. So you can't see the history of the price. Do you see how shifty all these people are? They always go, oh, no, we're doing an upgrade or we're, we're doing this or they'll rug it on purpose and change contracts. They'll do this on purpose, friends. That means... All the tricks are being exhausted because they're hunting for retailers. This is so important. Look, Kynet was around in 2021. It's down 90%. But look here, you've got no chart history. So these are all planned. Another coin here. I went, oh, let's check McPeppies. Yeah, let's have a check of it. Yeah, mad chart. Well, mad chart. Okay, so this, this is a lot of these things. Now, remember, I've got 12-hour chart. Believe it or not, if you're using Morales Money to do this, you're meant to be doing like a one-hour that's what you're meant to be doing. Like, oh, let's play around this or that. This coin seems to have people coming in. I'm telling you now, <clears throat> friends, I'm going to delete this now. I'm, I, I, just listen to me, okay? I've been in the game for 12 years. The fact that there is insatiable hunger and demand for these altcoin buying things, and now there are tools being made, this is an extremely bad sign. You do not want to see this at all. This means there is so little meat left in the bone. All these weak toilet paper hands cannot bear the thought 
of investing long term. So what they've done is they've gone to ultra short term stuff. How degenerate are you when you have to make your decision based off something that launched 24 hours ago? Because that's what these things are. These things launch one to three days. And by the way, I've seen people on Twitter who are making money doing it, right? And what they do is they get in with like, maybe they get in with like, you know, $500. If it goes a 2X, they get out half. And if it drops minus 20%, they'll get the whole bullet out. Okay, so this is not what you want to do. You're literally just trading now. So there's no more edge here. So you can't just buy any coin and things go up 20, 30, 40X. It's not going to happen anymore. Okay, now... I'm still going to reserve the right to change my mind. However, right now, we seem to be in crypto. We seem to be in a recovery phase, okay, where we are right now. So I'm just copy paste this to show you. We seem to be in some sort of recovery phase, okay? So that's where we are right now, okay? 28K today's price. The next phase is what I call the first pump, right? The first pump is like a Genesis pump, but it doesn't come out of nowhere, friends. It comes, I've written here, new crypto tech invented. You see back here, you had Uniswap, okay? And also this part, this part for the previous cycle was Ethereum's ICO. Ethereum was being used, okay? So that first new crypto tech wave, we don't know what it is yet. We can guess, maybe it's AI, maybe it's left, right, up, down. We don't know what the new tech is yet. We are gonna be waiting patiently. However, you can see, the retailers, the fact that they're hunting all these new coins, the euphoria is dying down, friends. I'm telling you, right, that the, the, the low-hanging fruit is getting eaten up faster and faster, and there will be a cherry emoji here to show you, okay? It's getting, and it's going to be size 40 font from Friendship. Here we go. The low-hanging fruit, it's getting eaten up, okay? More fruit might grow in this second wave, okay? But it's not here yet, okay? So... Oh, we know. Okay, the game's getting harder. What do you do? Remember, remember, the first thing I said to you was, you gotta hold your core. And it's so important. I have all the logos here. You can pick your own core. I don't care what you do. I'm just here to show you, okay? I like the stinky link, all right? I like the stinky link. I like the hex. We're gonna have Pulse Chain, Pulse X. I like PP as well. I like these communities. If you're stuck in Aave and Uni, that's fair enough as well. If you want Bitcoin, Ethereum, you're going to have boomer gains, okay? You're not going to get your 30, 40, 50 Xs in these. But in these coins and other ones you choose, your path to riches is not hunting ultra, ultra short-term duration things, one day, seven days old, etc. The time is not for them. Your path to riches is buying these core things that you hold no matter what, Okay. If a zombie virus collapse happens like it does here, guess what? You are going to keep holding your core because they're strong enough, okay? So, friends, please, I've found so many people on Twitter. They're like, hey, how I made money. This is the edge I'm doing. There's a lot of ways to actually generate short-term money, a lot. There's airdrop farming, hunting different NFTs, white lifts. There's short-term trading. There's, there are a lot, but... Nothing, and I do mean nothing, beats this. Buying in the depression phase or continuing to hold, nothing beats it. And adding cash savings there such that if the cherries pop up in the next wave, you have the option to rotate another 5% out of your core, put it aside in a hot wallet, and start playing around in the land of cherries if they sprout, okay? If they sprout, but there's no guarantee that they're going to sprout, all right? A lot of people assume wrongly that they are entitled to the cherries sprouting. But what they might find, unfortunately, is they thought they were eating some nice round cherries, but their nose deep in some hairy, sweaty, slimy balls. Don't forget, friends. Tell mom and tell dad that you love them both.